Hello and welcome to, what, review 16 of my Doctor Who DVD collection. Today I am going to be viewing the very dreadful Time Flight and Arc of Infinity box set. I say dreadful because they're not very good. Out of both of them I prefer um, Arc of Infinity. But anyway, let's carry on and um, give you a little review on this. So here we have BBC DVD logo. Oops, I'm a bit too close, aren't I? Oh, there we go. You got your Doctor Who logo. You got a very strange picture of Tegan. You got Peter Davison in the background. Time flight, Arc of Infinity. Got two disc set. PG logo. On the other side, it's basically the same. And the bottoms. Uh, the same as the usual thin ones. This is roughly 196 minutes approximately. And on the back, it's the same. You get your two entertain the BBC logo and PG. Um, what I like about this box is that it feels a bit tougher than the other slip cases on the other ones. Uh, hang on a minute. I'll get you the other slip case now. Oh, I'll show you on the slip case. So here we have. My Old Tales in my last review and it's quite thin the casing for this the cardboard casing but for this it's quite thick actually I, it's, I like it they should all have been like this quite thick like this one but anyway as I was saying this is Time Flight and Arc Infinity and let's get the DVDs out if I can yeah there we go So, yeah, look at the pictures, not very good, are they? I could have done better drawing them. Anyway, um, you've got Time Flight there. Then you've got Arc Infinity here. So, Time Flight came first, so let's take one look like at that. So, here we have the BBC DVD logo, the Doctor Who logo, Time Flight, very dreadful picture. You've got Peter Davison there. You got T. Well, it's not T again. It's um, Nissa with a very strange face. And then you got Tegan who looks quite a bit high. Looks high in both of these. But anyway, anyway, uh, the one thing I have noticed with this box set is they've got the year wrong. In 1981, as we all know, that Peter Davison came and re regenerated in 1982. So. I don't know if that was a fault with producing the um, the cover for this, but yes, quite interesting theory of how that happened. I want to know what they were doing when they did that. <laughs> Must have been doing the Tom Baker one at the same time. So yeah, we got the Peter Davison there. And Peter Davison years eighty one to eighty four, but it should be eighty two to eighty four. Uh, so yeah, on the back. You got your usual stuff, your pictures there, starring Peter Davison, Doctor Who logo, Time Flight, by Peter Grimwade. Very dull story I must say. Um the only interesting part about it is the ending. I prefer the ending than the actual story. I don't know why, it's just the story's quite it's not it's not bad in a way, but it's terrible in a way as well, if you get what I mean. Anyway, special features, you've got all that commentary, trailers and all that. And then it's got the transmission date, which was the 22nd to the 30th of March, 1982. You've got John Nathan Turner there. Then you've got the Ice Dental Music composed by Roger Lim. You only get the Ice Dental Music composed by on a few of these DVDs, not on all of them. But anyway, so yes, so you've got PG there you got the time limit there and the stuff there, so this is 98 minutes approximately. So, I, th I, I, I would recommend watching something else than this, if you have the time. But, anyway, that's Time Flight. And here is Arc of Infinity. Oops, my thumb there. Sorry about that. Um, BBC DVD, Doctor Who, Arc of Infinity. You got the usual Tegan who looks like she's just been drugged up. 
<laughs> it does actually look like she's been drugged up if I focus in on it. Then you got Nissa here looking up at Omega. Then you got, well, is it the Doctor or is it Omega? It's a hard one to tell that in. But anyway, it's Peter Davison, as we all know. Uh, the Peter Davison years. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, to be honest. So we, anyway, yeah, as I was going to say, we've got the Peter Davison years, eighty-two to eighty-four, not eighty-one. Um, yeah, so. That's the front. The back is more interesting. Uh, you got the time lords here and there and here, and you got a nice picture of Colin Baker, even though he wasn't the Doctor, but this was before he became the Doctor. So nice first picture of Dave. Um, uh, I was going to say Davison for a minute then, Colin. And anyway, yeah. So it's Stan Peter Davison, Ark of Infinity, by Johnny Bryn. I like this story actually. It's better than Time Flight. Um, it gives us a nice view of how Omega somehow come out of his black hole from the three doctors. Um, very strange, in fact. But I like the story. It's good enough to watch. I'd watch this if I had uh, roughly 98 minutes of non, not non nothingness. Yeah. So anyway, special features we got there. Like I said, 98 minutes. Uh, transmitted between the 3rd and 12th of January 1983 uh, like I said this doesn't have the accidental music but it's just got the production and production directed by so John Nathan Turner and Ron Jones so yeah so um, this is my the jolly fun review no it's not jolly and fun is it of Time Flight and Arc of Infinity. So stay tuned for more reviews. Hopefully they're all going to be better than this. So yes, anyway, stay tuned for more and um, goodbye for now.